This is Randleman Reservoir looking at the 220 bridge. We're probably a solid mile, mile and a quarter from it. And this is where the two, the two arms meet. It would be a tremendous area for sailing. Probably, my guess is, five to six times larger than the biggest open area at, at Ocala. I thought maybe the, they left that open there so you could get a mast under it. There's another five, six, seven hundred acres on the other side of the bridge. Pulled in a little bit. Try uh, coming around to the right. And what you're going to do when you start to make your turn, as you get close to the wind, you're going to feel the pressure come off the sail. Pull it in and tighten it so it doesn't flop across. And then as you come through the wind, you'll feel the pressure start to build again. Just ease it out so it goes full and then take off. head to wind here in about 15, 20 degrees. Now as soon as you turn through the wind, there you go, you're going to feel it fill on this side. Ease it back out, straighten up. Okay. Cut out a hair more. Go slack, and you'll feel the pressure on the opposite side. Now ease it out. The, the trick is you don't want to lose too much momentum and get yourself caught. All right, the way that telltale is, you can you can head up. You can go to back here to the right, so you can actually say a little closer to the wind and where you were. Pull it in a little bit and try to go back to the right. See how close you can get. Yeah, that's much better. And, you know, every once in a while it's okay to test. You know, turn, turn a little closer to the wind because and, and, the wind will change. And you want to see that. Obviously, you were about as close as you could get, but it doesn't hurt to try it once in a while to see if something's changed. You'll feel it start to pull. When it gets to that point, ease your sail out. At some point, you'll get your steering and your sail together. It's kind of like, uh, what do they call it, uh, patting your head and chewing gum or something? <laughs> wind like this, close hauled is not always your fastest point of sail. Sometimes you can bear off 5, 10 degrees and pick up a little more speed. You may have to sail further to get where you're going, but
but if you pick up enough additional speed to outweigh the additional distance, then you're better off. Yeah. When you get, you see where that, that boat is over there, the left? At some point, because of the way that point sticks out, it's going to block your wind. So if you're going to turn, you're going to tack back to the left, I would do it before I get shattered by that point. When you look at your water and see how it starts to flatten out, I would turn before I get to the flat water. There's no wind there. If you watch that secondary scale on your compass and go number for number, blue scale to white scale, that's a perfect 90 degree. You may have to come off a little bit more to build your speed, and then once you get up to speed, then you can head back up and try to get you your best combination. Come around and start easing the sail out. We'll feel the power pick back up. Got it. That's pretty good. Bear all five degrees to the right and see what happens. ways to trim the sail. You can trim it with the sheet or you can trim it with the rudder. But if you've got a particular course, if you know you want to go to the boat ramp on this heading, then you can sort of forget about the rudder and go for your maximum speed by trimming the sail. 